Yo, what's up, film and fusions, and welcome to the best movies of each month so far. Moving on to some honorable mentions. These are movies where I really wanted to see them, but couldn't because of personal reasons. For my number one spot, I giving to this to Evil Dead Rise. I saw the trailers, and I think it was looking really good. With the R-rated tone and scariness of this movie. And with the new kind of premise. Not premise, but the new location. With this apartment. I Yeah, it looks really great. Now moving on to my number two. It has to be Air. I was not really excited for this movie at all. But I was um, interesting. It was interesting because um, I saw some some good positive reviews. That's why I really wanted to see this movie. Now moving on to my number three list. It's going to be 65. It was looking pretty great. With the new uh, dinosaur movie set in the new world or earth or anything. I don't really know. But it was really, it was, yeah, it looked really good. Moving on to my number five on the list, number four on the list, it's going to have to go to Plane. I think it looks pretty great. I've seen some uh, good reviews, and yeah, it's just an action movie on a plane. What more can I say? It's looking pretty good. Now, moving on to my no uh, last of my list on our honorable mentions, it's going to have to go to Boys Afraid. I think it. I, mean, I think it looks all right. Uh, not the best movie or good movie, but I think it is was I think it's looking pretty great and I've seen some mixed reviews about it and I don't really know why I think it was looking pretty great Now moving on to my actual review April I'm going to rank you from the worst to be uh, best so my number five list is Peter Pan and Wendy. I uh, just a generic old, I guess IP, but yeah, just a generic Disney movie for me. Nothing really much to say about this movie. Now number four on my list, it's going to have have to be The Pope's Exorcist. I love this movie. The ending was pretty great, and with the story and the new, this is like the only Exorcist movie I've actually seen. Like just act, uh, just Exorcist movie. I've seen like Conjuring, but Conjuring, but that's not really like Exorcist movie. Yes, it's there's an Exorcist in this movie. Spoiler alert! I guess if you haven't seen it, Exorcist in that movie. But I haven't seen a so uh, just one movie focusing on an exorcism, and I think this one was really great. Moving on to my number three on my list, I have Sisu. I liked this movie. I think it was an interesting action war movie, but with the theme of World War Two, I don't know why they made it unrealistic, and. Yeah, that's maybe just everything I can say about this movie. But I loved it, actually. I, l I really liked it. You can actually watch uh, the my channel. Now, moving on to my number two on my list. I have Super Mario Bros. movie. I love this. It is an Easter egg, nostalgic, everything, man. It's It has a great story. Simple, great story. Visual effects are great. Uh, maybe the um, pacing was a little... Yeah, the pacing was fast. But that's like kind of bad. Yeah, kind of bad. But yeah, at the end of the day, I love this movie. Now, moving on to my number one for April. I have Renfield. I love this movie. I think... This was one of the greatest Dracula movie or vampire movies of all time. 
I haven't really seen any a much uh, Dracula vampire movies in my life, but I saw this and I Liz Cage as Dracula and Walt as Renfield. It was great. Go watch my review on that on my channel. Now moving on to March. For my number five on my list, I have the Sam Fury of the Gods. I think this was this movie was uh pretty good. I liked the first movie a lot better, but it was all right. This movie uh with the okay with the okay story and great characters, of course. Yeah. Now moving on to my number four on my list, I have. Dungeon and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I have no idea about any lore of the, uh, the Dungeon and Dragons or anything. I just know that there's probably Dungeon and Dragons. Because of the title. No, no shit. Of course. Uh, but I saw the trailers for this movie. And I think this was looking pretty great. And I saw the movie. And I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. And... Uh, let me know if you want a review on that. Now moving on to my number three on my list. I have Scream 6. I absolutely adore and love this movie. I think it may be even the best Scream movie on my part. I love the changes setting in the um and setting in the um in the uh, New York City, of course, I absolutely loved it, and I think the reveal was a little bit over, like, it was alright, but I think it was okay, you know, setting up for the new, maybe new screen movie, hopefully they're, they're making one, and uh, yeah, now moving on to my number two on my list, I have Creed 3, I, like I said, I love this movie. Uh, I had no interest in boxing movies or any boxing things. But I saw the first two movies and I absolutely loved them. And I knew I gotta watch the Creed 3 in theaters. And yeah, I just had a great time in the theater. Now moving on to my number one in March. I have John Wick. Chapter 4. I absolutely love, love this movie. It is one heck of a movie. And um, it is really an ultimate action movie. It 60 or 70% of this movie is action scenes with great story also. And yeah, go watch my review on that. It's on the channel. Now, moving on to February, only three made this list. For And for my number three, it's Cocaine Bear. Is it good? No. Is it fun? Hell yes. It is just a fun, dumb time watching this theater. If you turn off the, your brain, just watch this bear just take down people in brutal ways. It's just fun. That's, and that's all I can say about this movie. Just a fun, dumb time. Now, moving on to my number two on my list. I have Ant-Man and the Wasp Mania. I've seen a lot of negative reviews. But I don't know why. I like this movie. Is it the best Marvel movie? No. It's just fun? Yes. It, and the bad part is maybe that... It's not really an um, ending for the Ant-Man trilogy. It, I feel like this is just a setup for another, yeah, Kang Dynasty and another movie. But I mean, Kang carried this movie, of course. Kang is just a menacing villain, of course. Now, moving on to my number one on my list for February. I have Knock at the Cabin. I love this movie. I think the director, I've seen old, I, it was all right, not really loved, loved it, but it was all right. And seeing this 
a movie in theaters. I really liked it with uh, the premise of uh, if this uh, these two um, two dads and not and one daughter don't sacrifice their own, the world's going to end. And that's a pretty cool premise, yes. Now moving on to January, there was only two movies that I saw in January that made this list. And for my number two, it's going to be Missing. I really like this movie. I think the first movie was great. I think the first movie is better than this, but I like this new premise of just... uh, of just seeing everything on a computer. And uh, yeah, nothing really much to say about this movie. I loved it. Now moving on to my number one for January. This is probably not a surprise, but I'm going to with Megan. I loved this movie. The new killer doll queen, I guess. I... Just had so much fun watching this video. I think the only bad part about this movie is that it's censored. If if you're going to make a um, killer doll movie, why not just keep the R-rated R-rated rating? And uh, I'm looking re- I'm uh, I'm looking forward to the next movie coming out in 2025. Megan 2.0. I'm really excited for this one. Now that's just my ranking of the best movies in each month so far. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which what movie did I miss? Did you like uh, some of? Did you dislike some of these movies? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Quick plug: I do videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.